Uh, Barry McCarthy. That's been picked up on length. Hasn't quite middle this same, Ayu, but uh, he will get four. He picked up the early length. It was just marginally short. Oh, hurry! He might be out. He might be gone. Rizwan. Too far. Oh, this is close. And even though he's very nimble and his turn was quick, the dive was full stretch. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. Yeah, Rizwan. Mohamed Rizwan is... Well, Saim Ayub came herring out, looking for the single. A new bat. Oh, goodness me, that's gone past. Slip for four. Ireland, this is a great start by the home side for the new bat. Uh -huh. Beautiful. How good is that? Just an exquisite touch through that straight mid-wicket, and it's gone for four. Shot. Magnificent shot from Barbarazm. Just one gentle stride down the pitch. Picked up on length. Man out there. Straight over his head. It's a big six for Siam Ayu. Short, too short, over the head of that uh, short mid-wicket, and that's four for Barbarazm. It's another Barbarazm straight mark strokes, that front foot pull. He doesn't really go back and across for these pull strokes. Oh, beautifully played. How gorgeous is that? Playing it late, and just using the pace. And he's carved away immediately. An attempted diving stop, that's Gareth Delaney out of deep cover, but can't get anything on it. Immediately on the attack from Saeem Ayub. Chance in the deep, but just gets, has the legs to get over. Slapped away, and you can hear from the roars, plenty of Pakistan fans in the crowd. This is who they've come to watch. It's Babar Azam. And it's when he floats it like that, that things go wrong, because too easy to take him straight down the ground with the pace on the ball so a disappointing finish for Gareth Delaney as that one goes for six goes for ten in the over after ten it's 76 for one this one it's gone a long long way Harry Tector can only watch it sail over his head it feels as though the accelerator has just been pressed the swinging arc there as well in at leg stump and look at the speed of those wrists that's why it's gone so far the acceleration through the ball in the low full toss is helped away and helped away with real class. There's a bit of style from Babber there. This time, Mark Adair can't cut it off, so it's a big over. Three boundaries come from it. Gets us to the end of the 11th. It's 91 for one. Than you think. Work to do with the ball here. Has he found a first wicket? Camper out there. Yes, he has. Might not have looked like the best delivery, but... Not really there, didn't get close enough to the ball, and that's why it didn't reach the boundary. Curtis well, there's the moment. It's going to be a 35th T20i 50. Babarazam is all class, whatever the format. He's the third leading run scorer in the world in this format. He's the second highest 50 maker in the world. There's only one man past him, a certain for Akoli. Looks for some innovation, and that might be the biggest roar of the day, it feels, maybe. As Down the pitch goes Barbarazm. And it's four. Now, up in the air it goes, should be gone. Young court marker there, this wicket for me. It belongs to Barry McCarthy. Without that boundary save, the wicked chance wouldn't have happened. Mark Adair is never dropping that. He's Ireland's safest pair of hands. He's opener. Gone. Gone. Second ball. Azam Khan. Short one. 
And then not quite as short the second time. It looked like Azam Khan wasn't quite expecting it to come on in the manner in which it did. And all he could do was pick out Ben White down at... Barry McCarthy. He strays on that leg side. Then he's been put away for six. It's an area of strength for Fakasaman. The death, it's the most difficult one. Adair will probably bowl 18 and 20. Tries a little off cutter. The problem is it's right into the slot. And that is very, very friendly indeed. Feet. There. There. That's what you've got to do as a bowler. Now then. Now then. <laughs> they feel he's gone. Here's the evidence, Wilco. He's gone. Yeah, and Shadab knew it straight away. I think when we see that light on, it's going to be five down. It's a red light that signals, and it gives us the score. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Short. Pulled away. That is a net bowling to Iftikhar. You can't bowl there, to Ireland. Goes inside out. Could be a chance. No, it's not. It's six all the way. What a, an extraordinary stroke that was from Iftikhar. What a shot this is. I don't think Adair will feel as though he's done a massive amount wrong with the delivery. He's looked for the... Is it gone? Yes, it's been claimed. Carthy. Barry McCarthy again. Big He's everywhere. Barry McCarthy. That is a spectacular catch. A wonderfully athletic diving catch. It was actually the on-pace delivery. I think Adair has missed the block hole, so it was there to be hit. Oh, but that's exceptional. Barry McCarthy at his best. That's virtually on one leg. It's a one-legged six. It's a short boundary straight, but it's still going to get there. That's what he likes. Shaheen goes big over deep mid-wicket. Six big runs for Shaheen. He's left in the first innings. That is a top edge over fine leg for six. And this is where you have to feel for a ball. Over. Craig Young is up in the circle, right on the edge of it. Maybe just the line a touch wrong. Needs to get it outside off. Good event. If the car. Massive blow over square leg. Six big runs from Iftikhar. 300. He's gone 6-4-6 six, six from three legal deliveries. Interspersed by a wide. Well, it was a very friendly of the first innings. Shaheen. There's a little bit of a waltz after the ball. Iftikhar doesn't want to go back for the second. Shaheen wanted it. So a single off the last ball. And Pakistan... They finish 182 on the board. Is that enough? Fend this 182. Yeah, let's get a look at the batting cards. Plenty of good contributions, but maybe not a defining one from anyone. Siamu so batted nicely for 45. Those runs from Iftikhar, 37 from 15, three, three fours and three sixes. But uh, of the bowlers, Mark Adair, well, he was a little... Difficulty bit... slip in place, third and square out on the boundary. Oh, there's that classical batting you spoke about. And it's interesting to hear you talk about how he'll play the more classical Makes things a bit more difficult. Well, that one's not going to be caught, and it's certainly not going to be a chance on the field. Can someone in the crowd catch it? Because it's the first maximum for Ireland as Paul Sterling helps himself. Underneath it, and give it a fair thump. It really flew off the middle of his bat. Good night as soon as it hit the bat. Of the over. Straight down the throat of mid off. Well, it's been one of those overs where it's been up and down for both teams. Paul Sterling can't quite believe that he's just sent that into the hands. After getting hit for that six, Sterling once again we've we've seen that that back of a length on the arc. Well, he's found the gap there. Doesn't ha doesn't try and hit it too hard. Lorcan Tucker uses all the pace on offer from Shaheen Afridi, and he gets off the mark with a boundary. But he does find the gap between the fielders in between the two points. Andrew Balburnie, well, he likes this bowling change for more. Lifted into the leg side. There's a fielder in the deep and he, he takes the catch. 
Just didn't get hold of that one, Lorcan Tucker. And just bottom part of the bat, it, it, it sailed to the fielder. It wasn't a clean connection. You could tell from the reaction of Tucker as soon as he hit it, he knew that he had where it will go. Well, there's the short ball. Help leg side. He gets it early enough, does Harry Tector. Almost like he was expecting that one. Stunning shot. And that's another four runs to the total. Like Mohamed Harris, who... who want to get back into the side and could easily force their way back into the side runs again here for this time shot goodness me that's a great shot that's one of the shots of the match from uh, Harry Tech an incredible shot because have a look at the way his arms move as he hits this doesn't even get full extension it's just the forearms a short arm jab that's literally just the forearms that's hit that for six It's gone leg side again. Big hit from Balberni. It's six to Andy Balberni for Ireland. To Ireland. Well, brilliant timing. Takes it from outside off stump and finds the gap over the boundary for six. Starts off with a shorter one. Andy Balberni places it perfectly and keeps the fielder in the deep interest, but it just keeps leaving him. Well, here, there's the first of the boundaries you were looking for, Alan. Well... And that's Abba Safridi out there. And it's a half century for Andy Balberni. He's top edged this. It's a catch for Shaheen. Decides to go across the line and just too quick. Catches it high on the bat and an easy catch for Shaheen Afridi. Harry Tector goes for 36. Not much for the modern-day batters. Pump down the ground. That's Dockerell's favourite area. It's short, straight. It's four. Tries to go downtown again. Well, I think this one is not going to get there. Oh, just... We may have to go upstairs. The question is, has he stood on the... Just get one more look at it here, Faisal. Don't believe it was a free hit. So as we look at the man out at long on, we can only suspect he's gone over the rope here. Super slow motion is going to help us. He has taken the catch cleanly. There's no doubt about that. But that's the crucial moment. Six it is. Yeah, at the same time. Change in bowling. It could well have worked the oracle immediately. It's the slower ball from Abbas Afridi. It's deceived Dockrell. Back with the hand. What you mentioned is incredible. Ireland needed a boundary, and they're going to get it. They're going to get it from Balberni. It's not just a boundary, it's gone all the way for six. The pendulum swings again. Off tracker, slower in pace, it just sat up. And Balberni had all the time in the world to pick a spot. In the opposite. And that's Gareth Delaney, pierces the gap, finds four. Maybe guiding Ireland home. It's death. Full toss. Bold him. Bold him. Bold him. Bold him. And it's a crestfallen Andrew Balberni. 16 to win off eight. Looks for an audacious stroke. Oh my. Wow. What a shot from your first delivery. 20th and final over. Starts with a boundary. What a stroke. Abbas Afridi has done camp for all ends up, but somehow he's got the bat up right in front of his face to get it away for four more. Looks for the block hole. Skews off an inside edge, runs to the rope. Hits the rope. Balberni and indeed Dockrell too. They're going to scamper a single. And Ireland go 1-0 up. It's a leg boy, they won't mind what it is. It's a historic victory. You can add Clonturf to the list of the Melbourne Cricket Ground. The Chinazwame in 2011. Nelson in 2015. And indeed against Pakistan back in Sabina Park in 20, 2007. That game we discussed. What a win. They take it by five wickets with just one ball to spare. Ireland victorious. If you look at the scorecard, you'll say four overs, none for 39. Why are you mentioning his name? Five runs saved at the end down at long arm which really brought about the dismissal you give them that 180 that barber was looking for a dare with one wicket young pick of the bowlers
McCarthy didn't get any wicket. 